Even if you're not familiar with the UFC, you probably know about Conor McGregor. Since his UFC debut back in 2013, McGregor has made a name for himself in the octagon by taking on numerous fighters, breaking records, and establishing himself as a formidable competitor. Besides his skills in the octagon, he's also famous for his sharp tongue and sometimes over-the-line trash talk, which makes people either love him or hate him. The Notorious is so famous that you would think you know everything about him. But you'd be wrong. Did you know that once he bet Dana White $3 million? Or what about the fact that he's an avid LGBTQ rights supporter? Or how about his painful and excruciating weight cuts at 145? Please allow me to give you 10 fascinating facts about the Notorious Conor McGregor. Number 10. His sister is a former bodybuilder. Conor McGregor might be the most famous member of his family, but did you know his sister Erin made a name for herself as a competitive bodybuilder? Erin shared that she only realized how much effort her brother puts into his career when she started competing herself. While Erin doesn't compete anymore, through their respective careers, they developed a deep mutual respect that wasn't there before. Number 9. He was bullied growing up Conor McGregor often found himself dealing with bullies as a child due to his size, which made him an easy target. The situation was so tough that he started carrying a dumbbell in his school bag to use as a weapon if needed. He explained to the Daily Mail that he never really felt bullied but was frustrated by his inability to defend himself. After each fight, instead of just moving on like most kids, McGregor would replay the events in his mind, thinking about how he could have handled things better. This reflection led him to start kickboxing and jiu-jitsu later. Initially, his goal was merely to defend himself, but soon, training became his passion and his life's focus shaping him into the athlete he is today. His experiences with bullies have driven him to advocate for anti-bullying initiatives, where he speaks to young people at youth centers about how to handle such challenges. Number 8. He supports LGBTQ rights In 2015, the legalization of same-sex marriage was a major headline, not just in the United States, but globally. Despite his reputation for often trash-talking, Conor McGregor revealed a more supportive side of himself during Ireland's same-sex marriage referendum in May 2015. He took to Twitter to express his support, encouraging his followers with a clear message. Myself and my team are urging everyone to please vote yes to equality. Every human deserves equal rights. Hashtag we are all one. The gym where McGregor occasionally trains, Straight Blast Gym of Ireland, also advocated for a yes vote. McGregor is known for leveraging his fame to spotlight significant issues, and his involvement in the campaign for marriage equality is a prime example. Number 7. The meaning behind his hat Anyone who has seen Conor McGregor in action knows he's never shy about speaking his mind. He's famous for his fiery insults and confrontational style during interviews and before fights. But beyond his tough exterior, McGregor shows a more sentimental side. In the documentary titled Notorious, he shares that he used to carry his grandfather's old hat in his gear bag. For McGregor, the hat wasn't about superstition or pre-fight rituals. It was a personal reminder of his roots and life before his UFC fame. Unfortunately, he lost this precious item when it was stolen from his car in 2014. Despite this loss, McGregor doesn't view the hat as a good luck charm, but as a grounding reminder of his beginnings. And he continues to thrive in his career without it. Number 6. His Movie Appearances Conor McGregor has always been focused on perfecting his fighting skills, often setting aside other opportunities that might distract from his training. In 2016, he was lined up to appear in the Triple X, The Return of Xander Cage, and was even offered a role as a Bond villain, but he turned it down to stay focused on his training. However, McGregor's perspective seems to be evolving. In 2022, he accepted a role in a remake of the 1989 film Roadhouse, starring alongside actor Jake Gyllenhaal. This movie indicates that McGregor is starting to embrace opportunities outside of the octagon while continuing his career in fighting. Number 5. He once bet Dana White $3 million Anyone who watches Conor McGregor during his interviews, weigh-ins, or fights will notice his remarkable self-confidence. Some might even label him cocky or pretentious, but more often than not, he proves he can back up his claims. His confidence was on full display when during UFC 189, McGregor was so sure of his abilities that he offered to bet Dana White, the president of UFC, $3 million that he would defeat Chad Mendes by the second round. This fight was particularly challenging because McGregor had been preparing to fight Jose Aldo, a predominant striker, but Aldo pulled out from the fight and got replaced by Chad Mendes. 
a predominant wrestler. Despite that, Connor took the fight without hesitation. Despite the enticing bet, White chose not to take it, perhaps sensing the high level of confidence and determination in McGregor. Ultimately, McGregor's prediction came true. After facing adversity through almost the whole round, he knocked out Mendez with just three seconds to spare in the second round. I'm sure Dana White was so happy he didn't actually accept the bet. Number 4. He's had his fair share of legal problems. I mean, this statement could be material for a whole separate video, but I'll give you most of McGregor's legal troubles that he's been in. In 2018, he got arrested for assaulting a UFC bus carrying some of the fighters for UFC 223. In 2019, he punched an old man in the face at a bar because allegedly the man did not accept a shot of McGregor's proper 12 whiskey. By the way, that old man has a hell of a chin. Not everyone can brag about eating a punch from a hard hitter professional fighter and just casually keep talking to the person next to him after. Anyways, in 2020, he was arrested in Corsica on suspicion of attempted sexual assault and indecent exposure, but was released without charge, and the investigation was later dropped. More recently, in October 2021, McGregor allegedly assaulted Italian musician Francesco Facinetti in a nightclub in Rome, resulting in charges being filed against him. In January 2022, McGregor's pub, the Black Forge Inn, was targeted with petrol bombs, though no one was injured. The same year, he was accused of assaulting a woman on his yacht in Ibiza leading to a civil lawsuit that was later discontinued. Number 3. He Helps the Poor Conor McGregor is often a divisive figure due to his antics both inside and outside the UFC. However, beyond the controversies, he's also known for his philanthropic efforts, especially during challenging times. At the start of the global pandemic in 2020, McGregor stepped up to support healthcare workers in Ireland. He personally delivered personal protective equipment kits valued at $1 million to Irish hospitals to aid in the fight against COVID-19. Additionally, he shared a conversation on social media with Irish Minister Peschel Donahoe, during which he committed to purchasing equipment for hospital staff in Dublin. He also supported his childhood soccer club, Lourdes FC. McGregor funded repairs for the clubhouse and upgraded their training facilities. His company, McGregor Sports and Entertainment Limited, even sponsored new kits for the team. Despite a tough start in 2021 with a loss to Dustin, McGregor didn't let that setback dampen his spirit of giving. He donated $500,000 to Dustin's Good Fight Foundation, which provides meals, healthcare, and a new gym for underprivileged communities in Louisiana to train in combat sports. Number 2. His Insane Weight Cuts at 145 Conor McGregor has packed on a lot of muscle and weight while he's been recovering from the horrific leg break injury that he suffered in 2021. Now, as we head into 2024, he's getting ready to face Michael Chandler, UFC 303. Even though McGregor is looking really buff now, that wasn't always the case, especially back when he was cutting weight to make the 145-pound limit in the featherweight division. McGregor first made a name for himself in the UFC as a featherweight, going undefeated in a seven-fight title run that culminated with him taking the UFC featherweight title. However, making weight for these fights wasn't easy. McGregor would drop down to 145 pounds for the weigh-ins, but it was clear from his appearance that the cuts were tough on him. He looked really drained and severely dehydrated. This topic came up again recently when McGregor's coach, John Kavanaugh, talked about it during an Instagram Live session. He mentioned seeing a Reddit post with photos from back then that showed just how rough those weight cuts were. Kavanaugh pointed out that while they did everything professionally, such extreme weight cutting could really take a toll on a fighter's health over time. By the way, it's worth mentioning that despite having to make that grueling weight cut, McGregor never missed weigh-in any of the seven times he fought at that division. Number 1. He has the fastest knockout in a title fight UFC 194 hosted one of the most memorable fights in the history of mixed martial arts. It took place on December 12, 2015 at the MGM Grand Garden Arena in Las Vegas. The fight between Aldo and McGregor started with tension as neither fighter touched gloves. Right away, McGregor took the center of the octagon shortly after he caught Aldo coming in with a perfectly executed counter left hook that knocked out Aldo unconscious. With just 13 seconds in, this would mark the fastest knockout in a UFC title fight. Which of these facts surprised you the most? Go ahead and tell us your valuable opinion in the comment section below. Also, don't forget to like, subscribe, and turn the notifications on so you won't miss any of our videos. And that's it for today. Until then, remember to protect yourself at all times.